What's going on, everybody? In case you're wondering what you're looking at, they'll slowly come together. I actually even have to back up. This is the Atomic RC, which is the partner company with Venom. This is the 1 8 scale Brian Deegan Metal Militia 1 8 short course truck. It's four wheel drive, shaft driven. It's got a badass brushless motor in it. And it's done up just identical to the uh, actual stylings on Brian Deegan's actual truck. Now it's a Ford body. Of course, it's got Rockstar, all that. We're gonna, I'm going to show you here on the side. Now see, they also offer option parts. Ugh. You have your aluminum front shock set. You've got front universal dog bones. Aluminum front chassis braces, aluminum C hubs, aluminum short course body post sets, aluminum steering knuckles, rear hub set, aluminum front A arms and aluminum shock towers for the front and rear. They have them for both front and rear aluminum braces. Both all of these here, except for the hubs and the uh, knuckles and the uh, rear set, they have in both of them. So I will be doing a full upgrade of this truck. Um, but right out of the box, <clears throat> this is actually the very first ready-to-run vehicle that is actually ready to run. I know when you say ready to run, you have to have batteries for the remote, and you have to have a battery for your vehicle. Not the case with this. You have a 2700 milliamp 11.13 cell, 30C. The truck, the radio, and they even give you a 2-3 to three cell LiPo balance charger. Now, it's not the kind of charger you're used to where you have your battery leads and your balance. It just has a balance port, and it charges at 900 milliamp hours. So, I won't be using that. I'll be using my own personal charger. But, I've already had this out of the box and running it. And I can tell you right now, straight out of the box, this thing is a badass machine. As I set you down, because this is such a big ass box, and it was such a pain in the ass to put it back in the box. Get that out of the way. First thing I'll address is the radio. This is one of the more professional radios I've seen for just a standard. 2.4. I mean, I just noticed that now. If you look inside of the wheel on it, it actually has a disc brake behind it. Metal Militia. Awesome trigger. On-off switch here. You've got your uh, adjuster up here. And then you've got your throttle trim, steering trim, steering and throttle dual rate. And then you have your reversing for steering and throttle up there at the top. Very nice radio. I've got to give them credit for that. Now instead of having to dig through all the plastic, there's gravel on the bottom of mine. Get this box out of the way. And we'll show you the actual truck. Yes, I know they don't come dirty. Mine's dirty because I couldn't resist. So looking at the shell, the only thing I can think is it's a little bit thin of a Lexan, but not really that big of a deal seeing how you're going to be beating the crap out of it anyways. But let's take a look under this Lexan body to see what the guts are and how they're laid out. Because I'll tell you right now, I was pretty impressed. So underneath our Lexan body, you've got another cover, which covers all of your everything. It covers your, your servo, your ESC, your battery, your motor. It just acts as a rock shield to keep all that crap out of there. So pop even more pins out. Two more pins that hold this retainer in. You can take this cap off here. And now you're looking at the actual electronics of the vehicle. Which, for me, I need to take this battery that's in out because my batteries all have Dean plugs and this has an EC3. Well, it didn't keep all the rocks out, but it tried. I was driving it pretty hard, so... They'll come out when the battery comes out. Very, very secure battery hold down. Alright, now this right here is the stock battery that it comes with. 
Nice hard case, 2700 milliamp, 30C, 3 cell battery, but here's the only problem. It's got that EC3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to solder on a female Dean's. Problem solved. But, as we all know from other videos, you have seen this battery, the Duratrax Onyx 6400 25C 3 cell. This is what's going to be going in the truck. So, bigger battery, more power, but back to the initial truck itself. This ESC right here is amazing. Cooling fan. You even have a dust cap for your uh, on off switch, which is really cool. Take a look at the shocks. They're aluminum capped, but they're not um, full aluminum. But compare it to a Traxxas Slash and you're pretty much in the same ballpark anyways. Everything's nice and uh, nice and loose on here. This truck is an absolute dream to drive. Even just driving around slowly, it's it, it handles like a, a nice fine sports car, but then when you romp on it, it's got the balls of a Baja 1000 truck. Now, I, you know I'm not very big on short course vehicles. <clears throat> Even though I do have XO and uh, my associated SC10 and Sun has the Slash. This is actually by far my all new favorite truck. It already comes with sway bars from the factory, front and rear. If you can see them down in there, there's the rear sway, sway bar. Front sway bars up here. You got a standard uh, Venom servo or Atomic, but it's powered by Venom. We've got a four pole motor here. Nice metal gear. No cheap ass plastic shit on it. All metal, metal dog bones going to the front, metal dog bones coming out of the differentials. Nice solid uh, aluminum up front where you need it for those hard landings. And the back, not really protected, but you don't really have to worry about the back so much as you do the front. The tires have tons of grip to them because they've got a nice little slip pattern to them, which just is absolutely I mean, I was tearing the living crap out of my driveway with this thing. Servo is very responsive. It's not over responsive like a uh, like most short course trucks are. I see I'm going to have to do a little camber adjustment here because the front is out a little bit. But that's not a big deal either. Usually they set them out so you can uh, adjust them. But... All in all, so far, with just one run through this thing with a half-dead battery, it blew me away. And now, I, you can see even here, you've got a little, uh, here's where your uh, receiver is. A nice little tray for that. Doesn't have a waterproof grommet on it, so that's the reasoning for the uh, cap that they put on there. A little cockpit, we'll call it. So you've got a nice little tray here for your uh, receiver to sit in. And a dumbass who can't put a pin in a hole. Do it later. Very, very, very stable truck. Um, I've got absolutely no complaints with it. I seem to have wedged a uh, rock in between the dog bone. So I'll be uh, going over this and getting some of the uh, stones out of it. But my first take on the uh, 1.8 scale Metal Militia Brian Deegan truck is it is absolutely badass the only, there's only a few minimal things that are really not that big of a deal it's already got aluminum front or uh, rear bulkheads and front bulkhead too so hell expect this thing to be doing some serious bashing pretty soon and uh, also we'll be hopping this thing up with all the aluminum parts for it so there you go guys eighth scale metal militia four-wheel drive, shaft-driven short course truck. Um, you can get this from Venom or slash Atomic RC. Uh, list price on this is $4.99 and it's pretty much so far worth every penny of it. So hope you guys found this informative. You enjoyed it. Um, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, like, don't like. As always, don't care either way because you guys like what I do, and to the haters out there, keep talking shit. You're making me famous. Later, guys.